Hi, I'm Callum Finley. I'm playing Henry Walter Bates, and welcome to the set of Amazon Adventure. We know his name because the word Batesian mimicry is used in scientific discussion, but they don't necessarily know the story of Bates. He was the son and the grandson of sock makers, a young man of humble means. <laughs> he was a collector before he came here to the Amazon, and he had studied life on a very small scale, and he had looked at individual creatures, you know, by the thousands. Calculio glandium. I need it. <sighs> what a stunner. He was at grammar school until he was 14. He had to leave school to apprentice in a hosiery shop. But he didn't lose his zeal for learning. He went to night school. And that's where he met Wallace. Wallace was one of the teachers, even though they were only a couple of years apart. They were young men. They were seeking adventure. And they weren't these old sages that had, you know, had all the answers. And they went, they went out and found them. They went out and found how the world worked. Some species seem to differ slightly from one side of the river to the other. Yes. The most interesting thing about his 11 years is all the scientific discoveries he made, having a butterfly named after him, discovering mimicry. He was carefully paying attention to what he caught and where he caught it, and the resemblances between creatures and the fine differences between creatures, and that spurred the wheels, you know, going. Henry Bates, he's kind of the third guy in in this Darwin-Wallace party, but Bates really provided just-in-time evidence for Darwin's great theory. You have provided such beautiful proof. They shared this common experience of going out into the world and facing all of these hardships. So they also had ideas that were facing resistance. And that combination of respect and sort of togetherness and forged just a tremendous relationship. He really etched his name forever in the pantheon of great evolutionary scientists. You know, he, he worked with local people. Unlike many other explorers, he sort of embraced the world he was in. Rather than being an Englishman abroad, he tried to become a native. He was a voracious reader, loved to sing in a glee club. He played the guitar. He picked up languages. And after he made his discoveries in the Amazon, he was given the highest award that Brazil has to offer, which is the Order of the Rose. Here's a guy who traveled for 11 years through this extraordinary place, and he was on a quest to find evidence of species change. And of all the places in the world, where was it found? It was found here by Henry Bates. <laughs> he really was a, a rare human being. I feel privileged to bring his story to the giant screen. And so a lot more people will be inspired by this person, not just scientifically, but as an exceptional person. And I really hope that uh, that comes across.